First evening, I went to uh, that bar, and the bartender, he's a uh, he, he saw me come in because I saw him look back, and he just uh, he ignored me and ignored me and ignored me and and I said, hey buddy, I said I'd like a bottle of beer, and he walked away and, and he didn't serve me. I said, hey pal, I said I told you I wanted a beer, now don't walk away from me. So then he he walked up to the bar in front of me. And he says, Mister, we don't serve Mexicans here. <laughs> and my hand shot out like a bullet. I grabbed him by some boat, little bow tie he wore. I said, pull him to me. I put his face here in front of me. I said, listen, Buster, I was here three or four years ago in uniform. And you served me then. By God, you're going to serve me now. Have you figured out how old I am? Okay. <laughs> 88. I'm surprised that I made it up that, that old 88. There's a lot of them that are gone, especially World War II. Well, I learned to live, uh, you know, and know what it is to be free. Surprised when I come back, it was the same as it was when I left. We had a little incident happen when we were in Washington, D.C. We were sitting there in a bench resting because we just got done walking quite a ways. A bunch of little girls come in. They must have been anywhere from 10 to 12 years old in a busload. Two of these girls walked by me and they said, Mister, we'd like to thank you. And they shook my hand and Pretty soon the whole busload come over and every one of them shook my hand. And I could have used another handkerchief, I think, at that, that period of time. So we got a lot of good kids in this country to stop and think about it. You know, well, it's, it's an experience that you'll never forget. The University of Wisconsin studied, went to school. And when I got back out, I went back up and finished. I wanted to be an accountant, and that's what I was. And you back to Rockford to get discharged. You just go back to your old job. You just fit right back in with your buddies. There's no celebrating. No, it's not like the Hollywood movies. Well, I went back to Mill. That's where I came from. And the, the hell our seniority, you know, I was in the Army for about three years, so I had three years more seniority, but then when I went back there, I didn't like it. I went back to drawing wire and I didn't care for it, so I went to work per Shelford, which eventually wound up owning by the mill. And I, I liked it over there. But per Shelford had 36 years and I had four years to mill, so it was 40 years altogether. Me, welcome me at home, which was the most important one. I, I came home and, uh, uh, in fact, I didn't even let them know that what day I was coming home and I just happened to come in and open the door and tell them I'm home. <laughs> That's it. And after I got out, searching around for a trade, and I uh, got into tool and die trade apprentice. I stayed with that for until I retired. Very good living for me. About 42 years. 
and 46 is the one I, I met my wife. And, and, uh, we be, be, we'll be married 64 years this coming December. And <clears throat> looking out toward, uh, toward New York, and of course there's Coney Island. You know, they have that big Ferris wheel, carnival type thing. And at night, in the water, voices carry a long way. We could hear people laughing. And we could see the Ferris wheels turning. And I thought, oh man, home, you know. <laughs>